Yes, people, L5 Alive, Kalnach UK as always, the G official real crime podcast. It's an unprovoked live. You don't normally see me, do you? But here I am, do me thing. I'll be discussing anyone on YouTube, especially Bully Boy Taxman and Weird Boy Boiling and the other plant pots if I'm asked to. So let's use on board. Got Kendo, hope you're well there. Sanya, hope you're good. Got DB, hope you're well, mate. Got the Scottish lad. Got Joe 27. Yes, Mr. G, presumably this is going to be Darren G in full effect. Well, you always get Darren G in full effect, mate. Adam May will be joining you, does. Good on you, mate. Got PC saying taxman gets taxed. You'll never walk alone. Be right. Hope you're well, mate. Hyper Sniper, just seen you over there on me TikTok account. MCFC, I'm live now, brother. Amen, Grindy, get up. Lady G Baby's in the house, moderating as always. Got Carla Mills. Got DB. James Mincher. Big Foster. Madness. Stu Brunts. Sarah Essex. Michael Murray. Mank Shazza. Big Foster saying he can't wait. Jonesy saying evening. James going, as always. We've got Crew Fox, respect from Bristol. We've got Peter Hasse, hope you're well, lad. London Cabby, 101, you got this. Millie Vanilli, totally professional. Nightmare Griefer, L5 Alive, la. Joseph Ratcliffe, nice to have you on. Sean Daniels, big respect, Adam, mate. Sending that right back to you, lad. Big man's basketball laughs. Hope you're good, mate. Got Hago, 99. Liam Atkinson. Got West Cumbria in the house shouting A. Got Sophie Sparks. Hugh Butler, how are you, lad? Hope you're well. Liam Yates. Johnny Bravo. <laughs> Louise Mullen and Big Foster. So that's who's in at the moment. Yeah, there's a few more. Sean Daniels, hope you're good, lad. And we've got Dave. So it is what it is, people, as you can see at the top of the title. Let me just sort it out. That's what it's about, people. So I'll just cut straight to the top. Of... You've got the tax man, you know, ex-notorious gangster, new founder of Christianity. He's now a Christian. But he's obviously upset some people, hasn't he? Over the last week, he's had his windows smashed twice and then he's had a vehicle burnt. So, what you're looking at right now with regards to the tax man is karma. You've got things happening to him, what he has been doing to individuals for decades. You know, we, he wrote his book, The Tax Man, and then he came onto YouTube, started targeting anyone and everyone, including myself, you know, challenging me mental health and all this mad stuff. I know it was years ago, probably shouldn't be bringing it back up, but it's a topic that we need to discuss, isn't it? On the other hand, the person that's getting the blame for all this is a fella by the name of Boyle, who calls himself 
uh, a book author, someone that writes books for people and sells them for people. Now, what you've got is the bully himself, the taxman, who's receiving karma for his behavior in the past, blaming this boil. I think we all know that the Boyle family are going through some difficult times at the moment. You know, some are suffering with, um, there's a lot of illness going on. They've been placed under a lot of pressure, just like loads of people up on that thing, up on YouTube. And I think they're just getting made a scapegoat. You've got uh, the tax man now crying that he's being arrested for this, that and the other. But he never rang the police because he lives next to a policewoman. I can start going in. I'm not going to mention other YouTubers until you ask the question about whatever YouTube you want to speak about. I'm here to answer any question on any YouTuber that doesn't wear a mask and isn't afraid to show his face on the screen. Any YouTuber that wears a mask and doesn't show his face on the screen, don't bother asking about them. But the bottom line is, at the end of the day, when you're throwing stones at glass houses, expect to have your windows smashed, isn't it? Do you understand what I'm saying, people? Android box. As the saying goes, people who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. There you go. Exactly, mate. We've got Tony Gilman, the tax man is boasting about robbing men who now have sons of their own. Karma, Darren. Exactly, lad. Hope you're well, Emma, Tanya, Miss TT UK. We're just discussing this nonsense that's on YouTube right now. You know, and there's a lot of people. It's, it's not a lot of people. It's the same individuals continuously chatting about each other, labelling each other left, right and centre making false allegations against each other, insinuating one's a snitch and one's a... and so on and so forth. So it is what it is, isn't it? You've got Manx, as I say, and it could be anyone. He's made loads of enemies over his past years bullying. Ryan reckons kids have it harder now rather than back in the day. Same people blaming each other, says Tony. DB saying bullies are the lowest of the lowest. Dave Smith, I hope you're well, mate. Sean Daniels, karma is real. Karma is real, mate. Let me tell you that from experience. Whatever you put out comes back to you. Doesn't matter what it is, might be its attitude towards people, might be spreading hatred, might be doing violence, might be dishing drugs out. Whatever you're doing in your life comes back at you at some point. And it doesn't matter who you are, how much money you've got, or how many people you've got around you, you will feel the effects of karma because everything you put out, you get back, no matter what it is. Obviously, he was arrested. The tax man was arrested. He's saying he was in a cell for 20 hours and then he was released without charge. We've got Dex Smith. Tax man is getting everything he deserves. Now he's crying. He's ruined many lives and continues to do so. You know, don't think for one minute that that big ball bag does not troll people on the internet. Don't think that his little weird, freaky-looking bird, what's her name, Emma the Disciple, is not evil and twisted because she is. You know, the pair of them are junkies. They admitted themselves up on all sorts of medication like that, aren't they? Basically, in a nutshell, what you've got is you've got an old-time gangster who used to bully and tax people years ago hanging on to an ego that he doesn't possess anymore. And he's just chatting majors on YouTube and has done for a couple of years now. 
when there was for him to reply to, he'd reply to, which give him a bit of traffic and give him a bit of a reason to be on YouTube. But for the last year, he's been talking about dead men. He's been rinsing the life out of people's stories. He's been telling pure lies about loads of situations that never even happened. Do you understand what I'm saying? So you need to understand what he's getting yourselves involved in when he's a watching. When you're watching them type of people with an ego to fill, he's trying to keep himself relevant. He's trying to keep himself, you know, the focus of attention. And he has done for years. As I say, he's, he's continuously talking about uh, Lee Duffy. Continuously talks about Lee Duffy. He talks about Sykesy. He has all these different individuals up his arse still from years ago, like bigging him up. He'll get the video and put it on his channel to fill his ego. When in reality, he's just an exaggerating big old man who's still trying to bully and intimidate individuals because he can't leave the past alone. His real reason for picking on uh, that Boyle family is it the Arthur. The real reason for him picking on that is over the books years ago, over the book he wrote about him years ago. Lol Star, don't watch him, he's vile. Dex Smith, he made a video about you, Daz, bro. I know he did, mate. When everyone was attacking me, when I exposed, you've got to understand how he first came into my life. When I first came onto YouTube and I had a message going, and that message was called Choose a Life, Not a Knife, United Kingdom. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, some little bell end from Leamington Spa kicked in with a message that sounded exactly the same as mine, which was Change a Life and similar. And when I looked into that, the people behind that was Ben Span, Cockrell, French, and someone else. And they were all trying their hardest to cancel my message out so their message could elevate on the back of it. And when I came out two or three years ago and screamed about that to all you on YouTube, they all started ganging up on me to make me look like a plant pot. And then he went out and made a video calling me a paranoid schizophrenic and so on and so forth, when in reality I was speaking pure about him. Now, he's just, let me, let me reiterate again, he's just an old man that used to bully and tax individuals around his area years ago. He'd done a documentary with Donald McIntyre about 10 years ago, and the fat mong was just punching a punch bag, taking Donald McIntyre to certain areas around where he's from, as if he taxed people in there, or he went into that pub and battered six people while because his son went in and got scared. And He's just full of sh And for the last six months, as I said earlier on, he went quiet for a bit because his channel got threatened. So he went off the sea for a few months until his warnings were up. As soon as his warnings were up, he come back in and he's starting to try and show people how to train when he hasn't got a clue how to train without steroids in him. And now he's just a now he's just a old man, just a bar walk, just a bar breathe. He can't even talk properly. I've seen a video of him before. He can't even have a shave without being cut on himself. One half of his body's paralysed. But he's still there screaming all the matches as if he's a, a big time for notorious gangster. When he's not, he's an old and fat trying to fill his ego up with bullshit about everyone else's life.